Winter is here, and it's turned the entire world into a frozen wasteland. And we're not the only ones trying to survive out here. Yeah, zombies. And these guys, they're everywhere. Out here in the freezing cold, just like we're gonna be. There's a lot of things we're gonna have to look out for, actually. Like these uh, skeleton guys. Now, I don't know if you've ever been chased by a skeleton in the snow, but it's not fun, especially when you get stuck in the snow. Food is gonna be scarce. There's some out there, like uh, these guys, but they're gonna be a bit harder to find, especially in these intense blizzard conditions. There's not a lot out here, but there are some pretty cool ice structures, uh, like this one, and I bet they'd make a pretty good base. Have you ever played this game when it's constantly snowing? Yeah, me neither. And the marine life? I don't know about you, but I don't see any fish down here. Speaking of blizzards, I've uh, added a couple of mods to enhance the experience and just make this whole challenge a bit more interesting. And uh, I'll have the mod pack down in the comments if anybody wants to try it out. So, can we survive in this frozen wasteland? Well, we'll have to. Day one, I spawned in just in time to see the sun disappear from the world. And uh, almost immediately there was a polar bear and her cub walking right towards me. Now, I don't know if it was a friendly polar bear, but I wasn't gonna stick around long enough to find out. So I started making my way through the snow, just trying to figure out where I was and what was around me. It was already blizzard conditions, which meant I was gonna need to find shelter, water, and food pretty fast. I also needed to build a fire so I don't freeze to death. But there was one main problem. I kept sinking down into the snow. And obviously, this stuff is everywhere. So, I'm not getting away from it. The only way we can somewhat minimize this problem is we're gonna have to find leather boots. Ah, ow. But I spotted this tree and we were gonna need some wood. So I made my way over and started cutting down the tree. Oh, and something I forgot to mention is uh, I'm using the physics mod. So blocks are going to break a little bit differently. But man, it, it really does make the game feel a lot more realistic. I mean, just check out the ice breaking here. Looks really cool, right? Anyway, I, I got a little distracted looking at something in the distance. Ah, uh, oh god. Not really sure how I missed this guy. It's coming after me. Oh, look at that. I've already found a village. I gotta say, I, I, I did not expect to find it this fast. What on earth is that doing here? Uh, I feel like he's supposed to be in the water. Not really sure what he's doing. I was even considering just leaving, but there really wasn't anything that useful here. You good? Abandoned. Ah. I also decided I wasn't going to actually use this house as shelter. I wanted to live out in the wild for a bit. So, that's exactly what I did. I grabbed what I could from the chest and left. I started wandering around some more, which uh, led me across the ice and into more snow. And take a look at my health. I just want to mention that if I get caught long enough in this snow, I start taking damage. So anyway, I, I saw some birds and they looked a little bit out of place. But I decided to leave them alone because if they're surviving out here, Clearly, they're doing something right. You know, maybe I can learn a thing or two from them. But this guy, I, uh, I had other plans for him. I started making a crafting table, or I tried to, but uh, yeah, I failed. There was also a zombie headed right towards us. So I had to back off and I crafted the table, placed it down. And yeah, these guys, they were, they were really interested in me. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. They wouldn't leave me alone, so I had to lure them off, run back to the crafting table, and that's when I made myself a wooden pickaxe. Remember when I said the snow was going to be a huge problem? You're about to see one of the many reasons why. Alright, well, we got our pickaxe. Oh, God. Let me out. Oh, God. Yeah, I got really lucky here. So, I went back to the crafting table and made myself a wooden sword. With that, we got ourselves our first monster kill. Look at how these guys fall over. That's uh, part of the physics mod. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait, did I make... How many swords did I make? Just made all the swords? What the heck? And yeah, I guess I uh, I panicked a little bit. So I went back over to the bird because I, uh, I needed to start thinking about getting food. I wasn't really sure if he was going to drop anything, but he did. Oh my god, 
I literally destroyed the guy and he, uh, he gave me some raw pheasant. I guess I changed my mind about the other birds too, because, uh, I killed one of those guys. As I was making my way up the hill, I saw this ice spike and it looked awesome. I actually think it'd be pretty cool to build a house on one of those. What do you guys think? Should we do that? Let me tell you, it was a, a struggle climbing this mountain. The longer we're in this world, the more the snow starts to pile up. When I finally got to the top of the mountain, there was something waiting for us. Or a couple of things, actually. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my god, calm down. Relax. Oh my god, he's coming after me. Oh no! Oh my god, he's right on me. Yeah, polar bears. Not the friendliest creatures. I didn't even do anything to this guy, and he wanted to eat me alive. And you know, I could have retaliated and took him out, but I didn't. I did the right thing, and uh, I just left. I went back to the top of the mountain, and it was starting to get dark, so I decided I would settle down here for the night. I didn't have enough sticks to make a wooden axe, so I punched some more trees with my fist to gather some wood, and I crafted those logs into planks and those planks into sticks. Then I made myself a wooden axe so I can start chopping trees more efficiently. And check this out. Even when I'm just doing normal things, I'm still getting stuck in the snow. Oh god, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, guess we need to break that to get out. How do we make a campfire? Campfire. Fire. I don't know how to make fire. It was almost nighttime and uh, we really needed to get a fire going. Oh wait, it's right there. Ah, oh, we need coal. That's not good. But I didn't have any coal yet. Usually that's one of the first things you start looking for in a Minecraft world, right? So I, I made my way down the mountain hoping to find coal nearby. I really didn't want to venture too far off in these weather conditions. Especially with mobs starting to spawn. Gotta be some down here. Ah, perfect. Ow. And what do you know, right down where I nearly got mauled to death, there was coal. Ah, that's, that's exactly what we need. I grabbed just enough to get a fire started and made my way back up the mountain. Oh god. I hear him. Oh, he's right there. Get me away from that guy. But once again, I was, I was missing sticks, so I had to chop down a couple more trees. Once I had those, I was ready to build the campfire. I cleared out some of the snow, dug a hole, and I put the fire down inside it. You know, we don't want to risk this thing getting blown out by the wind. Uh, but anyway, another cool thing about the physics mod is uh, actually the changes to smoke. It's a lot more realistic in its appearance and uh, just kind of how it builds up and flies off. I was sitting at the campfire when this little guy showed up. My god, there's a dog. Hey, buddy. I didn't have any bones to feed him, so unfortunately we couldn't tame him. But uh, it was still nice to have some company up here. If I can sit next to him. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to sit next to me. All right. Oh, I guess we're on our own. My health was really starting to get low, and I'm sure you've noticed we're playing hardcore. Yeah, this is uh, this is my first time trying it out. If you saw my last video, you know this probably isn't going to go very well. But hey, that's fine. We're not taking it too serious. Uh, we're just going to give it a go, and if we die. You know, maybe we'll just convert the world to survival. I can cook up some of this food. Oh wait, can I? Oh shoot. Oh my god, that's insane. I can actually cook on that? I had no idea you could cook food on the campfire. Pretty sick. What do you guys want to see me do in this series? You want to see me build a base, uh, fight the dragon, just survive? I really would love some ideas. But anyway, we, uh, we made it through the first day in this frozen wasteland. Tomorrow, we set out to find more water, more food, and hopefully a village so we can get leather boots and a bed. The next morning, I, I went down the mountain to mine some more coal. I figured I, I might as well gather as much of this stuff as I can. With all the snow in the world, it's going to be harder to spot ores, unless we go down into a cave, which we aren't quite prepared for yet. I also gathered some cobblestone so I could start working on upgrading my tools. Look at all this snow. Man, it's really starting to pile up. 
Also, you, uh, you may have noticed now we have temperature and thirst indicators in addition to hunger. I've enabled this mod just to, uh, make things a little bit more interesting, a little more challenging, if you will. When I got back to the crafting table, I made myself a furnace and a stone axe. It was time to start exploring again. So I packed up my bags and started making my way down the mountain. I found another one of those ice spikes and uh, I made a couple of friends. Ah, for those sheep. Hello. Hey, get back here. Oh my. Yeah, this ragdoll effect. <laughs> I gotta say, man, I, I love it. Oh, that zombie's got a hatchet. What kind of hatchet do you have? Oh, it's a shovel. There, we'll make it a fair fight. Oh gosh. Eh, come on. Take you out. All right, so we didn't get the shovel, but we did get some rotten flesh, which I guess we could use for food if, if we get so desperate. I saw some creepers off to my left, so I decided to keep pressing forward on the ice. I was gonna need water soon, and you can't just drink any water. I mean, you can, but ideally you need to purify it first. Otherwise, you might get sick. So I needed to make glass bottles, and that meant I needed sand. I had the idea of checking under the ice, and sure enough, there was some sand down there. But I got briefly interrupted by this zombie. When I started mining the sand, I quickly discovered that this isn't going to work very well. So I made a stone shovel, and that sped things up quite a bit. But I was only able to get about three blocks of it before I could no longer reach it. If I wanted more, I had to get it underwater. So that's what I did. I got a few more pieces of sand, and man... Check it out, it's so cool how the sand just rises up to the surface. I got so distracted, I nearly drowned. Ah. Anyway, I, I caught my breath and went back down for more sand. I probably had enough of this by this point, but I figured I might as well get more while I have it in front of me. This time, I totally forgot about the fact that I was losing breath and yeah, I, uh, I nearly drowned again. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's uh, get out of there before we kill ourselves. When I got back to exploring, I literally found this not far from where I was. Yeah. Anyway, so I kept wandering around and eventually found this ice structure thing and uh, another one of those ice bikes. I got curious, so I started making my way towards it, and that's when I found sugar cane. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, dude, back off. Relax. Relax. I'm friendly. Oh, God. Oh, get back. Oh, my God. I got stuck in the snow. All right. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it to him. I'm sorry. Uh oh, he's going to beat me up. Oh. So far, I haven't come across any friendly polar bears. Although, the cubs seem to not care about me, which is uh, kind of interesting because I literally just destroyed its mother. I'm sorry. Sorry. I left the cub alone and found some of these little guys. Oh, what are these? Squirrels. You see this spider over here? I should have stayed far away from this thing. You'll see why. Oh. 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 Ah! No. 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 Yep, I died. I couldn't believe it. It's day two, and I, I haven't even done anything yet. It's a pretty embarrassing way to die, too. Can we uh, can we just forget this one ever happened and continue playing? Sound good? You guys gonna roast me in the comments? Huh? Okay, that's fine. Anyway, I, uh, I picked up all my stuff, and now we had a new problem. I was starting to freeze. If this icon fills up, we start taking damage. So now, I had to make fires. Otherwise, I die. Somehow, I already forgot how to make a campfire, but either way, we got one put together, and I slowly started to warm myself back up. I figured in the meantime, I should probably start working on preparing some purified water. So, I put down a furnace and threw in the sand to make glass. I also threw some of the raw meat on the fire. It's, uh, it's a good thing it's cold out. Keeps things nice and fresh. 
Once I had some glass, I went to make bottles, and luckily I was still right next to the ice, so I went down, broke into it, and collected some water. To purify the water, you need to heat the water bottle on a campfire or inside a furnace. And just a couple things to note about dehydration. If I sleep, I lose two droplets of water. If my thirst level goes below three droplets, I won't be able to sprint anymore. And if I run out completely, I start taking damage every four seconds. So to be on the safe side, I need to have water with with me at all times. While I was cleaning out my inventory, I, I happened to notice something. I have string, and something I've never really done in this game is fish. So I decided to make myself a fishing rod, and let's just hope that there's still plenty of marine life below the ice. Once all my water bottles were ready, I set off back into the cold, leaving the heat of that nice warm fire behind. There were polar bears at pretty much every corner, so I was careful not to get too close. But they weren't the only creatures lurking in these woods. I hear a skeleton. Yes, there was a skeleton on my tail, and I didn't know where to go. The snow was thick in this area. Fortunately, I, I managed to escape with only a little bit of damage. I was starting to realize the ice is probably the safest place for me to be. Mobs don't seem to spawn out here, and I don't have to worry about falling in the snow. These ice structures are looking better and better for building a base on. The only downside is there really isn't much out here apart from the ice. Literally nothing out here. Ah, what did we find here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, mending, unbreaking, a bunch of iron nuggets, okay. It was starting to get dark again, and uh, I really didn't want to be wandering the woods at night, so I decided to set up camp here. Once I had the fire situated, I, I figured I would try and be productive. You know, now that I have a fishing rod, I could work on building up my supply of food, which would come in handy the next day. I broke a couple patches of ice and casted out the line. Now, keep in mind, I, I didn't really know how this worked at the time. Like I said, I've, I've never fished in this game, but hey, I, I have fished in real life, so that counts for something, right? But check out this wind. How do I know when I... Gosh. Thing is all over the place. Probably should stand over here. Oh, it's gonna freeze back over. Was the bob up and down or something? How does this work? Oh, there we go. We got him. Rock cod. Immediately putting you on the grill. Ah. Oh no. Can I break it? Nice. Okay. Back in business. Huh. Puffer fish. Look at that. Oh, God. We were truly living the full survival experience. I still didn't have shelter, but I was warm and uh, well fed. Can I just eat the puffer fish? No. What do I do with the puffer fish? Not really sure what I do with the puffer fish. Can I eat them? I caught some other stuff too, like this tripwire hook, which I don't think I really had any use for. Surprised I haven't been walked up on by a creeper yet. Oh, just as I say that, dude, do not make me drop this thing. Please. Yeah, I missed a fish because of this guy. I didn't really want to fight him though, since I was still fishing. So we just kind of danced around a bit. He wasn't a very smart zombie. Can't get me over here. Yeah, how about that? I'm gonna catch this fish. You're gonna stay right there, buddy. Ah, uh, another puffer fish, seriously? So I ended the night by taking out the zombie and watched him blow away in the wind. It's been a good day. Bye. I woke up bright and early the next day and ventured off the ice and back onto snowy lands, which as you can see, probably wasn't the best idea. I couldn't walk 10 steps without falling into deep snow. Every time I dug my way out, I fell right back in. We really need to find these leather boots, and soon. What's, uh, kind of turkey? Kind of bird? So I actually didn't even mess with these guys. Uh, I kind of got distracted by more sugar cane, so I went to grab that instead. The heck was that? It seems there's definitely something living under the ice, but I have no idea what it is. I hear chickens too. 
Anyway, I, uh, I kept exploring and I found more sugarcane and this, uh, this massive snowball. But there wasn't much out here, or it seemed like there wasn't, because I couldn't really see that far ahead of me. The fog was too dense. I was trying to find any signs of civilization, but I wasn't having any luck. I was starting to get dehydrated, so I had to make a stop. I noticed my temperature was starting to drop, so I decided to gather some wood while I was there to prepare a fire that I could easily place down next time I start to freeze. When I got moving again, I found some more of these birds. These guys seem to travel in packs of two. Hey, buddy. Not anymore. Not too long after that, I came across this guy. It was a brown bear, and I, I knew for a fact he wasn't going to be friendly. I think it's safe to assume all bears are deadly in this world. I was starting to freeze, so I thought I would just stop here and uh, make a temporary shelter in this igloo-looking thing, and that way I could watch the bear to see if he does anything interesting. Little did I know, it wasn't the bear that was going to do something interesting. It was this little squirrel that just appeared out of nowhere. No. Nope. Oh no, this seems like a terrible idea. One brave little squirrel. Oh, now he's just doing spins. What is he doing? <laughs> he's ice skating. Actually really good. Yeah, I'm uh I'm not really sure what he was doing, but uh anyway. I found out something cool. You can actually uh break campfires to get charcoal back. I was starting to really doubt that I'd find a village, and it definitely wasn't helping that I was traveling mostly on the ice, but uh, I did end up finding these pumpkins, and there were quite a few of them. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with these things yet, but I imagine they might come in handy at some point. It was pretty much nighttime, and I was still on the move. I needed to find shelter, though. I couldn't risk getting stuck out here in the snow with mobs all around me. Oh, I hope these guys are friendly. Please? over there i thought i saw a village and uh i got a little distracted can't tell what that is oh oh my god oh we gotta get away from this i've never seen that before that's absolutely terrifying that was a skeleton riding a spider I have never seen that before in this game. That was like the second most terrifying thing I've ever seen, next to the warden. I've seen a zombie kid on a spider, but definitely not that. It kind of worked out though, because uh, he led me right over here. Oh, hello. What's going? Where'd he go? Yeah, I, I really don't know how I lost him because there's literally a trail of footprints right next to me. But yeah, I, I just kept falling into the snow up here, so I decided I should probably just head back down to the ice. And that is when I discovered this little cave. It wasn't much, but it was shelter. And when you're trying to survive in a world like this, you take what you can get. So I set up camp here and did some more fishing for food. Yeah, I didn't realize it, but having that fire inside the cave with ice, yeah, it, it melted everything. On the bright side, I, I guess it did give us water right inside the shelter. Because I found all those iron nuggets earlier at the portal ruins, I wanted to turn them into iron bars. And uh, not gonna lie, I, I kind of forgot how to do that. I tried smelting them instead of crafting them. Once we had that first iron bar, we unlocked lots of new items. One of which is the campfire cauldron, which uh, we can use to purify water a lot quicker. But first, we had to make the chain and a cauldron. I could make the chain, but in order to make the cauldron, I needed copper which I didn't have. So I went outside hoping to find some nearby, and I did. There was actually some right below the ice, but it wasn't gonna be easy to get. I was gonna need to dive down to get it. And if you remember from earlier, this is not gonna work very well. Oh man, there's no way we're getting that in time. Instead, I decided to dig down into the dirt and carve out a kind of a staircase. And with the physics mod, uh, there were blocks everywhere. Oh, hey, look at that. It took a little bit of time, but I eventually stumbled across the copper vein. I made my way back up to the surface, and I, I threw all that copper into the furnace. Luckily, I, I still had some coal. Once I had the copper ingot, I was able to check the recipe to see just how many of these things I needed. While that was smelting down, I, I worked on filling in the floor here, so I had more space to walk around. It didn't take long before I had the copper cauldron ready to go. I placed it over the campfire, and now it was time to figure out how this thing worked. Out in there. Not really sure how this works. Oh, you fill it up first. Okay. Got it. Now what? 
what I do. I had been wondering if you could cook food in the cauldron, and uh, that's when I figured out that you can eat puffer fish. I guess I uh, wasn't hungry earlier when I first caught them, uh, but it also wouldn't let me put it in the cauldron though, so I caught a raw cod and yeah, I, I wasn't really having any luck putting that in there either. All right, how does this work? So it turns out with an empty bottle, you can fill it up from the water that's in the cauldron. This gives you a bottle of purified water. The benefit of doing this is that there's always going to be clean water waiting for me in the pot. So I can easily fill up the water bottles when needed and I don't have to wait for them to purify. The next thing I wanted to do was uh, just make this place feel a bit more homey. You know, at the moment it was just a cave and if I was going to stay here for a while. I, I wanted to add a little personal touch. So I started working on replacing the floor with wood planks. I also widened the room just by removing some of the stone wall. Next was the roof, which I ended up losing my stone pickaxe from. Uh, lucky for me though, I, I still had that gold enchanted one I found earlier. Then to free up some space, I, I moved the furnace and the crafting table to the edge of the room. I wanted to add a little security to the place, so I built a wall out of wood planks and I crafted up some doors so I could get in and out. The shelter was looking pretty good actually, uh, nice and cozy. I also broke the ice in the back so I could do some fishing without having to step outside. Put down a chest and threw in a bunch of items. I don't plan on staying here long, I just needed a place to store some items so I can keep looking for a village. If we find one, we're gonna need the inventory space. I crafted up the last two iron bars from the nuggets I found and uh, this is where I probably should have made myself a shield, but instead, I made a sword. Rookie mistake, I guess. Just like that, we were pretty much done with everything I wanted to do in here, so here's what the place looks like. I happened to notice the smoke physics were off, so uh, I turned them back on and started fishing again. Then this happened. Oh. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Carbon monoxide. My first thought was, well, maybe if I, uh, maybe if I open the door, I'll let some of the smoke out. Nope. Didn't work. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna die in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's an item I wanted to craft that would make it a little bit easier to stay out in the cold, but I needed a stone cutter. So the idea here is uh, with regular stone blocks, you can you can actually craft heating stones, which provide a source of heat. And these things, uh, they can be recharged in a furnace along with some coal. They aren't meant to last very long, so uh, I made several of them. This should help if I ever find myself in a position where I don't have a campfire. While I was waiting for them to finish up, I made some more stone tools as mine were getting pretty close to breaking. The next day, I went back out searching for a village. Maybe today is the day we find leather boots. Seriously, it's it's gonna make all of this so much more tolerable. So as I was running along the ice, I, I thought I saw something. So I went in a little closer to check things out. It was a nice little village. They, uh, they definitely seemed like they were prepared for the winter, more than I was anyway. It was also clear that they did a lot of farming here. Why do you guys have so many pumpkins here? Oh, oh. Yeah. What are you doing, my friend? Oh, I'm gonna steal your bed. Let's see what's in here. Uh, just another bed. It's not good. Dude, what's this kid doing? Huh? Oh my god, he nearly took the door with him. Yeah, this little guy, he was having the time of his life. He was jumping all over the place, you know, practically bouncing off the walls. And well, uh, I, uh, I decided to join in. Oh! Alright, I'm leaving. Creeping me out. So I, I kept moving through the village, hoping to find my precious leather boots, but uh, I wasn't having any luck. Most of the chests had food-related items like potatoes and berries. This one had some iron nuggets, which I can't complain about. The hell is oh, that's a creeper. I don't think they're friendly. Yep, they're not. We kill it. Got him. Uh, poor guy. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. Anyway, I, I continued looking around the village and I found some more chest, but still, no leather boots. And yeah, again, this was a this was a really nice village. There were quite a few homes here and probably like two or three farms. They also had some campfires already set up, which is great because I could just warm back up pretty easily. But uh, even in the village, I'm not safe from the snow. I also wasn't safe from polar bears. 
Apparently these villagers have one as a pet. Kind of weird, but anyway, I, I borrowed a few of their crops, uh, like this wheat here. Went back to the entrance of the village and I figured I should probably help them get rid of these pumpkins. You know, uh, they're kind of blocking the pathway here. Yeah, this kid was still all jacked up on Mountain Dew, man. He was just running all around that tiny little house, opening the door, slamming the door. I don't know. I don't know where this guy was getting all this energy from. This is why you don't leave kids home alone. The next day, I, I went outside the village and stumbled across these feral wolves, oh. which I, I assumed were friendly since they didn't seem too bothered by me. These, uh, wolves? Coyotes? Who are these guys? Oh, he doesn't look friendly. Oh my gosh, he hits kind of hard. Oh! Oh! Ouch! He hits very hard. Alright, what are these guys doing? So after I got the first one, I, I started walking towards the second wolf, and I guess I got distracted by the heating stone in my hand. I also thought I heard one of those noises underwater again. Oh! Oh! No! And well, yep, I, uh... I died again. These guys hit so hard on hardcore. I literally didn't even have time to react there. I mean, I, I should have seen him coming, but once he was there, yeah, there's no chance I was surviving that. All right, so we're going to give it one more shot. If I die one more time, we convert the world to survival. You got to cut me some slack here. This is, this is my first time ever trying hardcore. Lesson learned. Don't play with feral wolves. They're not friendly. All right, so let's uh, let's just forget this happened. Anyway, so I went back to the village and this guy, he was uh, he was stuck, so I, I helped him out and I was starting to freeze again, but luckily the villagers had set up this nice campfire here. It was pretty much nighttime again and I didn't wanna just hang around the village again, so I wandered off into the woods to do some hunting. I found myself a polar bear and it was the first polar bear that seemed somewhat friendly. But then I, uh, I hit it and uh, that changed really fast. I kept making my way through the woods and that's when I saw a creeper headed right towards me. Rather than panic and potentially get stuck in the snow, I, I decided to stand my ground and check out what happens next. Oh my goodness. Yeah, their explosions look so much cooler with the physics mod. I was starting to get cold again, but I saw something in the woods there. And me being uh, the curious guy I am, I, I needed to know what it was. Turns out it was a deer and these guys drop really good food, so I wasn't gonna leave them here. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, I just dropped my sword. Sorry, gonna need that back. Not really sure how that happened, but that's all right. We got our food and uh, he had some friends nearby, so I went and took out the rest of them. Sorry. My temperature was lowering pretty quickly and uh, I didn't have any campfires ready to go. I was also knee deep in snow in the middle of the woods. Definitely wasn't the smartest idea, but uh, I did find this massive cave down below. It wasn't too far from the village either, but it was a long way down, so we may have to come back here at some point. We still need a ton of iron and coal if we're planning to survive even longer out here. So I started making my way back to the village and I fell into this pit of snow. I couldn't get out. I was stuck, so I kept digging, but somehow I, I just found myself back in snow and that's when I started freezing. When I finally found a dry spot, I, I immediately started pillaring myself up so I could get out of this mess. But this wasn't the only thing standing in my way of the village. Oh god, where the hell did you come from? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, oh, I can't move. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you can't see it because the mod is a little glitchy here, but luckily there was actually snow piled up here because it, it saved my life. While I was waiting for my health to regenerate, both boars died from being stuck in the snow. I safely got down and ran over to the fire to warm myself back up. I went ahead and cooked up the meat I hunted and went to one of the houses to build my next campfire. Get a fire going too. Okay, excuse me. Oh yeah, and uh, it turns out you can actually cook potatoes on a campfire. Pretty cool. I also made a furnace so I could reheat the heating stones. I was going to need these things to keep me warm on my trip back to the cave shelter. So I headed back out onto the ice and I came across a few zombies. I figured I might as well take them out and just try to gain back some of the XP I lost. We're going to need a lot of this stuff if we ever want to enchant things. There was also a, a reindeer nearby, so I took him out too and while I was trying to collect the meat, this happened. 
Oh, gotta be careful out here. There's there's literally always something trying to kill me. But anyway, the, the plan for now was to return to the cave, drop off some of the loot I gathered, and head back out to find another village. While I was here, I, I cooked up some of the meat and decided it was finally time to make myself a shield. Something I should have done a lot sooner. I had a little trouble remembering the recipe. Uh, I was close, but but not quite. And it turns out I, I actually needed more wood too, so I made a trip outside to chop down a tree. When I got back in, I, I made the shield and I also put down my purple bed that, you know, I, I borrowed from the village. They might get it back, they, you know, they might not, we'll see. I also went ahead and prepared uh, just some water bottles since I was probably gonna be gone for a while. And check out how much health this venison meat heals. Pretty dang good. It was nighttime, and instead of waiting until morning, I, I decided to head out now. I didn't want to waste any more time. I really wanted to find another village and hopefully some leather boots. There were a couple animals nearby, so I went ahead and took them out. It was uh, a polar bear and two reindeer. There was another one of these creepers too, and man, these explosions are just insane. Now that we have a shield, it was going to make exploring a bit more safe. If we get stuck in the snow again, okay, not if, when we get stuck in the snow again, we can at least block some attacks. I was looking for signs of civilization, but I didn't see anything. I did see this cave and I knew I still needed more coal and iron, so I went to check it out. There was indeed some coal here, so I went ahead and mined it. If we plan to keep exploring, we need to keep up our coal supply because we're going to need it for campfires. While I was mining, I, I kept hearing an owl, and uh, I'm not sure if they're actually an animal in this mod pack or if it's just a sound effect, but I went outside looking for it and I didn't see anything, so I just left. But hey, check it out. We blocked our first attack. Poor guy was stuck, so uh, we did him a favor and put him out of his misery. At some point, these bones are gonna come in handy because I wanna try taming a wolf, something else I've never done in this game. I also wanna try taming something I can ride, like a deer or maybe something that will make it easier traveling through the snow. Anyway, check out what I found next. Oh my gosh, what am I looking at? Oh my. God. Yeah, this place was massive. It's all open too, so it should be somewhat easy to explore. While I was headed down to get a closer look, I, uh, I got attacked by another boar. These things, they just sneak right up on you. I was pretty dang close to freezing here, so I needed to set up that campfire I crafted. I mined a temporary shelter in the side of the mountain and started restoring all my stats. But yeah, this place, it didn't even look real. Because of the fog, it looked like if you had fallen in, you would probably never stop falling. I noticed some stalagmites and some other items we'll definitely have to come back for. But for now, this wasn't the priority. My main goal was still leather boots. So I made my way back to the top of the mountain and kept moving around it. And this was a huge mountain with a frozen river in between it and the next one. It's a really cool area, actually. I think it'd be pretty cool to build a base in the side of it. But anyway, I, I had to go down the mountain to get up the next one. I climbed to the top of the next mountain and it wasn't as steep on the other side. So I made my way down the hill, got stuck in even more snow, and I noticed my temperature had dropped. There was a deer nearby, so I went over and made friends with the guy. And check out what I found next. Oh my goodness. Yep, we, uh, we found a moose, and the guy was huge. But I needed to deal with the freezing situation, because I forgot I didn't have a campfire ready. So, I quickly worked on building one. If you've been wondering what happens when you actually start freezing, this is it, right here. Similar to getting stuck in the snow, you start taking damage until your temperature rises again. Ugh. This is why it's so important that I always have a campfire ready to go. It's a good thing we had coal because that could have been really bad. So it appeared that the moose was stuck because he was also taking constant damage. I was going to go check him out when my temperature returned to normal, but the guy, uh, he just fell apart. I went over to see what he dropped and I ended up getting stuck myself. It turns out they also dropped venison and antlers. Not really sure what you can do with the antlers, but we'll have to figure that out at some point. I made my way back to the fire and I had a little surprise waiting for me. Literally. Oh! What are you doing here? Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Jesus. I headed back out into the woods and I noticed a skeleton in the distance, which I stayed far away from, and I'm glad I did because it led me right to this. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, dude. They just keep sneaking up on me. That would have killed me. 
I didn't have a shield. Yes, we finally found another village, and I immediately started looting the houses, hoping to find my leather boots. But uh, the chest didn't have leather boots. It had apples. And while I was trying to figure out what to trade for them, I noticed this. Don't get the cod. Arrow. Oh, wait, where did you get leather from? What the? Are you kidding me? I had leather this whole time? Where the heck did I get that from? I can't believe I already had leather. I have no idea where I got it from. Fishing, maybe? Uh, maybe one of the deer I killed or the moose? I don't know, but either way, I had leather and I had enough of it to make myself a pair of boots. Went ahead and started looting the rest of the village first and this was another good village. These guys had a cat wandering around and they also had tons of hay. I mean, this stuff was everywhere. So much of it that uh, I borrowed some and I'm gonna make some bread with this stuff. I don't know why they need all of it anyway. They, uh, they didn't even have any animals in the fence outside and whoever lives in this house should be arrested because they were hoarding all the hay for themselves. Just like the other village, they uh, they seem to have a polar bear as a pet. And these things, they're too dangerous to keep as pets. They're unpredictable. The cop gonna try and fight me? No, oh, it's just gonna run away. Nothing in there. Whoa! That was close. I nearly lost everything there. I also noticed there was a cave right underneath the village. So we're definitely gonna have to check this one out too. But for now, there's one thing we have to do, and that is make our leather boots. So I ran back to the first house because it was the only one that had a crafting table. With it, I made a furnace so I could cook some of the food while I was here. And then it was time, time to make the boots. We had five pieces of leather and uh, we only needed four. Finally, we have these boots. This is gonna make it so much easier to explore this world. And there is so much left to explore. I mean, we've only been able to see a small glimpse of it because we've been having to travel mostly on the ice. I can still sink down with the boots, but I can jump right back out of it. We'll need to make sure we keep an eye out for more leather though, because this pair is not going to last forever. I ran back over to the house and there was something weird going on with this door. What? Hello? So I think that's enough for the first episode. It didn't go 100% as planned, but I hope it was still enjoyable to watch. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and if there's anything you want to see me do, I'd love to hear about it. Tomorrow, we're going to explore some caves and try to tame a deer. 